Hi, I'm Rodi Karer. I'm collecting jeans since 1973 and I'm running the Little Jeans Museum in Zurich, Switzerland with 14,000 jeans and denim jackets. I grew up in a poor, big family, 12 people in a remote alpine village and we got some clothes donation and in one of these parcels was, uh, there were two pairs of Levi's jeans. It was originally raw denim. They were already faded a little bit, but not much. And at the beginning, my brother were wearing it because I was, the jeans were too big for me at the beginning. They were biggies yeah. with hidden rivets. The raw denim for me, it became also like a fetish. For me, it was a cult, a status symbol because uh, I wanted to be a rebel, but I was very skinny and very uh, shy. So uh, I wanted at least uh, show my rebel with uh, raw denim. Everybody is wearing jeans. Almost two billion of jeans produced every year, but there is no real brand independent jeans museum around. So I was thinking, okay, for a proper museum, it's much too small. It's just open on request. It's in the fifth floor. It's not functional and practically. I need money, time, and uh, a concept how to build the museum up. The concept, I have some ideas already. The money and the time is the biggest issue at the moment. I don't earn money with uh, this uh, jeans museum. I'm working 80% as a geographer and the other 20% I try to keep the jeans museum alive. I want to uh, bring young people away from uh, wearing uh, artificially distressed uh, H&M jeans or whatever, that they have to break in a jeans for one or two years or even longer if they have uh, several jeans in rotation until they get some nice fadings. When I see people throw them, I encourage them to, to wear them as long as possible and not throwing them away. Instead of throwing them away, they can donate it to the museum so I can show other people the power of denim evolution from a new rodent in jeans to a heavy faded one. I want to have many samples as possible from faded jeans so I can show it to the visitors from the museum and tell them, look, here is a boring dark blue canvas and then it's a newer one. Yeah, the Rodin spirit, I think that's important because uh, this is the core element of the whole denim industry. This is the basic of the whole denim history and industry. It's more than just a pants. Yeah. Not in this. <laughs> okay. Just start playing. Kennst du mich noch? See, can I see? No. Nein, that can I see? Nicht mehr. Just, just want to start now. Uh, when I see people with raw denim, I'm telling them that I'm... Uh, <laughs> that I'm telling uh, we have an interview. <laughs> Hello, I'm in the middle of the interview. Nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry. So here, this is a nice Edwin Nashville jeans. Both Edwin Nashville jeans. I know them. And they are excellent. Just for the record. See you later again. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it seems that I'm a little bit famous. Yeah. <laughs>